Hello coloring friends! Today is the first video of a new month on my channel and as many of you already know it's a video featuring all the illustrations sent to me by other colorists for my monthly color along. And so today we will see the works for the month of September. Uh, September color along theme was Africa and I've got a variety of beautiful colorful works dedicated to this continent. Uh, here you will see African nature, animals, uh, ethnic handicrafts, little bit of African mythology and a lot a lot of beautiful African girls and women in bright clothes and jewelry. Uh, sadly I managed to color less than I wanted, just two illustrations. And so I'm adding this prompt into my magical box with my weekly mini color long themes. And I hope to have a soon opportunity to color for this theme Africa again. And now let's start our short but very colorful journey to Africa and enjoy all the wonderful illustrations. Let's go!
friends, how did you like our little trip to Africa? I enjoyed it very much. Thank you so much to all who took part in this color long. And if you are new on this channel and want to participate too, here's how you can do it. Just color is suitable for the month theme illustration or even two or more. Uh, take a good photo of your completed work and send it to my email, which you can find uh, under this video. Uh, you can submit your illustration until the last day of the month. Include your name, the book's title and the artist's name. Uh, you can also mention your coloring Instagram account or YouTube channel if you have any. That's all. And now to the October theme. In October many people um, color illustrations dedicated to Halloween. Uh, so I decided to choose a prompt connected with Halloween in a way, but uh, more specific. We will not be coloring pumpkins or witches, but only skulls. And the name of this color long would be Pueyuric. I believe this is quite a known expression, but in case somebody not familiar with it, it's from Shakespeare's uh, play Hamlet. Uh, in one scene, Hamlet takes up a skull of his uh, former fool and says, uh, Poor Yurik, I knew him. So, I think this uh, would be more poetic name for our color long <laughs> than just calling it skulls. So, Poor Yurik. And now let me show you a few examples of the illustrations for this theme that I managed to find in my collection. Uh, most of the skulls in coloring books are not ominous skulls, they're rather pretty with flowers or fruits or leaves, like uh, the ones from Joanna Besford's books. I found, found one in Magical Jungle, uh, this one, surrounded with leaves. Uh, then I will show you another one from Enchanted Forest. Again, this one with mushrooms, uh, trees, leaves again. And there is one in the World of Flowers too. Flowery skull. So if you like this type of skulls, you can color something of Joanna's. Uh, then, is, then there is one nice illustration from Fantasia by Nicholas Chandra Vinata. This one. This one looks more, a little bit more scary, maybe, than those with leaves and flowers, but still quite uh, lovely, I would say. Then there is a nice illustration, not ominous at all, in the Walls Within Walls by Kirby Rosanes. Many already have colored these illustrations, but I know many haven't. So maybe you will decide to color this skull for October color long. Um, as always with Kirby's illustrations, very nice and beautiful and interesting. Uh, then maybe someone has this book, Terry Pratchett's Discworld, uh, Paul Kidd be the illustrator. And here we have uh, this illustration, a bit more scary looking, but <laughs> some people would prefer something like this for October, for Halloween. Uh, then I have illustration from World of Princesses special, Coloring Heaven. Uh, this one. A very beautiful illustration. The skull is not the main character of this picture, but it uh, goes for the theme Poe Yorick. <laughs> yeah. 
and I have two more printed illustrations and I have to say these are my favorites uh, the first one is from Mituza Dollmaker uh, interesting illustration in Art Nouveau style and this one my absolute favorite <laughs> Jeanne Prosvirina um, I can't remember the name of the book at the moment it's a grayscale book and I printed for now only one illustration from this book because I'm not sure about this heavy grayscale it's a very beautiful book uh, so beautiful illustrations on their own and I'm not sure how it will look when colored especially I'm not they're good in coloring grayscale but I want to try because I love this picture the girl is like not too much grayscale but uh, the background mostly but I'm definitely going to color this uh, picture uh, for October coloring long and so we will see how, well, how I will manage the background hopefully it will look nice <laughs> And that was all for today, friends. Thank you for staying with me. See you next time. Bye.